Hey players, this is Freyaza and welcome to my HTML slash JavaScript game um, made on WebStorm, uh, Brain Freezer, or whatever it's called. Although the program itself does nothing to do with the actual game, as it can be run in Notepad apparently, um, using just the player's browser. So here we have um, the heading stuff, all of the HTML goodness. Um, the positioning and all of the boring stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, variable names. Um, more headings. Some functions to set the game up. Um, how to end the game and the button changer for when one of the nine X no squares is clicked, and all of the button setting and positioning and all that stuff. I gave them quite funny names. Um, the <laughs> the X and O are like um, you know how the grid is nine squares. Well, from top uh, left to bottom right, they're named penguin, bear, wolf, owl, fox, hedgehog, dragon, lion, and narwhal. Don't ask why the lecturer commented in it too. I do not know why. I guess I was just that bored. So <laughs> that's why I passed the <laughs> um, the variables and the function. Uh, anyway, on to the game. It's nothing that special, but it was actually a team game, we uh, made it together, uh, me and my teammates, which is quite fun. We met up a few times to work in the design and stuff, and then just got down and followed some tutorials and bam. It was quite, uh, well, okay, it was really difficult at some points, uh, where I got stuck for days, but um, in general, uh, all of it went down pretty fast. Um, it would have been easier if I wasn't stressed out from other classes and just this to focus on, but um, yeah. The main problem was one bug which took about literally 10 hours, not even joking, of solid working on it to fix going through several sites and then it was just a simple problem like one person um, scum to help me with. Although they thought it was a bigger problem but it turned out just uh, reading that comment like gave me the tip off to fix the actual problem with my knowledge. Okay, so player one is X. What's your name, player one? Player one's name will be Door, and player two's name will be Tudoff. Okay, it's Tudoff's turn, which is player two. And uh, yeah, draw. Okay, it's messed up. The reason is um, I messed up the variables before. Uh, before recording this, um, and uh, now the switch fun the switch variables backwards, so I need to change. Uh, where is it? Switch to false. Um, I keep doing this uh, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I don't know why. So I removed a lot of the coding, and it's still doing that. I honestly do not know what is going on. Okay, oh, X. And the problem starts at rounds two. Okay, it's fixed now. It was just a switch variable, okay. I thought it was, and it was. Ah, uh, damn, we lost our cool names as well. Well, anyway, you get the draft, it's just X and O's really. Oh, and uh, O1, so player two at one. I get criticized quite heavily for um, making the win and uh, draw thing manual. The reason is, X and O's is a paper based game, right? You just draw it up on paper in a second and have fun playing it with friends. It's not a game that the computer should decide who wins, you should be paying enough attention to decide who wins yourself and then rub it in your opponent's face as you say, haha, I beat you player two. And now watch as I click player one wins and then click it with all your might. Um, that's how X and O should be played. Not just the screen wiping as soon as you win and you're like, oh I won. Well this is boring. It's more fun if the player has more to click, you know. Well, anyway, that's just my taking it, so I'm happy how it turned out. And the name is a mix of uh, mine and my teammates' aliases on the internet. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good. Although it only works in one resolution. If you um, like have a different screen monitor, it can turn out weird. So yeah. Also, if you don't play in full screen mode. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, comment and rate in the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll hopefully get more videos out now that I finally fixed it why I Hypercam 2 um, is recording is weird. 
the reason is because uh, if you go into screen resolution on your uh, your background desktop and then um, go into your uh, what do you call it settings and then go into advanced settings and change your colour from true colour to uh, um, high resolution colour, I don't know, it's on this video here where is it? it's on this video by Johnny Balvuenia uh, it took me a while to find it, it was actually very simple because the way I did it before was messing up a lot of settings in Hypercam 2 to get it barely um, offish, you might have noticed it in some of my scripting videos because I couldn't use Fraps for that um, my audio and video were slightly off but this is actually a small fix which perfectly fixes it so um, yeah thanks for watching, bye players